Hi, I'm Matt, and this is HowQ. Say you got a fix, and you wanna swap your bow. You wanna change from, for this example, a 16 inch 6.5 to a 12 inch 8.6. Or you wanna go from a 16 inch 6.5 to a 16 inch 308, or a 16 inch 308 to a 16 inch 305. What's a 305? I don't know. Good news for you, we made it super easy for you. It should only take a couple minutes, and we're gonna show you how to do that here today. So, to swap your barrel, we need a couple tools. You need a, a 50 inch pound torque limiter, 40 inch pound torque limiter. Each of these should have a T25 bit, a torque wrench, and a hand dandy fix tool. And if you're so inclined, a bit extender for that drive screw on the handguard, but that's your call. If you wanna fiddle around with it and just get it there, I do that all the time. Before we start, two very important things. Make sure your gun is unloaded, clear, and always point in a safe direction. And if your firearm has a stock, make sure to properly register it as an SBR before swapping to a barrel shorter than 16 inches. In this case, we're swapping our 16 inch 6.5 barrel for a 12 inch 8.6 barrel. First things first, we're going to put our fix on a mag block in a vise. Next we are going to take out our top reel screws. Then we are going to remove our handguard pinch screw right here. Then I'm gonna put my extender on, my bit extender here. And then I'm going to remove my drive screw from my handguard, which is right under here. Next, I'm going to take my handguard off. Then I'm going to remove my pinch screw here for the barrel. Uh, I'm going to take my extender off. So you don't really need it here. Um, you don't really need it at all, but it is convenient when you do have it, for, especially for that handguard drive. And watch out because your pinch spacer is going to fall out. So I'd like to hold, cut my hand under here just to catch it so I don't lose it. So this is your pinch spacer. Uh, and all it does is acts as a little bit of support for when you pinch your barrel so you don't go too far and accidentally crack your seer because that would suck. And now we're going to remove our barrel nut with our torque wrench and our fix tool. And we're gonna remove our barrel from the receiver. Voila. I'm gonna take my new, nice, fancy 12 inch 86 barrel, place that into the receiver. We're just gonna go on the reverse order here. Take my barrel nut, slide it over the barrel, Thread it onto the receiver. Kind of hand tight, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna move back to my torque wrench. I'm 35 foot pounds. If you've never used a torque wrench before, um, it will click over. You'll feel a you'll feel a physical click in the wrench, and that tells you when you reach your torque. Now, if you go beyond that click and keep torquing, you're going to continue to add more torque. It's very different from these torque limiters which start to ratchet once you reach the desired torque. Then we're going to put our pinch screw and our pinch spacer back into the receiver. There's a little cutout right here for your pinch spacer. So this is the orientation we're going to put our pinch spacer in. Now we're going to install our handguard. Uh, as you can see, we have a shorter handguard for the to accommodate 12 inch barrel. And it's Q-Cert, the best attachment method on the planet. Truly, it is, it's just lighter stronger. It's just the most superior attachment method. It, it, it's an unbiased opinion. Now that our handguard's on, we are going to use our drive screw. There are two handguard screws that retain the handguard. The longer handguard screw is the drive screw that goes under here. The shorter handguard screw is the pinch screw and that goes through here. Now we're going to torque them. That's 50 inch pounds. I always do the drive first. And we did the same thing, you'll notice with the barrel. And the whole concept there is, we're able to slide that barrel in fairly easy and the handguard on fairly easy. And the whole concept is we want to drive the parts where they need to go. For example, we need to drive that barrel extension into the receiver. We need to drive this handguard into the receiver and there's clearance. And then we're gonna pinch, we're gonna suck that clearance out for a nice, tight, strong fit. I'm gonna torque. My pinch screw, it's also 50 inch pounds, which is right here. Great. 
Handguards installed, two screws, bang. Strong as an ox. Now, we're going to put our top rail onto the receiver and the handguard. If you'll notice, there are two recoil lugs here, bottom of your handguard, and those engage with this slot cut on the top of your receiver. I like to drop my screws in first. You can put your top rail on first and then put the screws on, doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, as you can see, I've got a shorter top rail than I did previously. Uh, I want my setup to be a little more lightweight this time around, so I'm going with a short top rail, less material, and I'm only going to be attaching a singular magnified optic onto it, so it's not, I don't need all the rail space, so I'm not going to use it. Top rail goes on the top of the receiver and line up your screws with your screw holes, two in the receiver and one in the handguard for this setup. This also gets 50 inch pounds. It's really easy if you want to remember it. All the screws that go into the handguard or on the, or the top rail screws all get 50 inch pounds. Super easy to remember. The only thing that's a little different is the 40 inch pound pinch for the barrel that we did earlier. Yep, you'll notice the spring right here. We're gonna use the top rail to compress that and that's your uh, bolt stop. Compress the spring down here. And just start like to start from the rear. Right to 50 inch pounds. Super easy, super simple. Now I got myself an 8.6 SPR. And that's how.